White Walker perpetuated offenses are considered especially heinous. In Westeros, four dedicated friends investigate and discuss these vicious episodes as members of an elite squad known as A Podcast Has No Name. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to A Podcast Has No Name. This is a special edition. This is this is the Beehive edition. Yes. You know, one of, one of the first Beehive editions ever. Uh, it's, it's been a minute. Uh, since we dropped the episode, and look what it took. It took Beyonce dropping a whole flick, Listen. a whole hour and a half movie for a podcast that has no name to drop a new episode. On the pod with me, I got the homie Z. Hello. Do we know what's good? Hi. What's good, sis? Hi. Is my, uh, my vocals, like, are they nice and loud for you? Oh, they're nice and crisp. Okay, perfect. They're crisp, fam. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope y'all hear the accents real thick. Philly's in the building right now. Philly all day. Philly, Philly all day. <laughs> Philly all day. We on the West Coast was Philly all day. Shout out yeah. to uh, shout out to everybody that uh is on the West Coast now from Philly though. I know it's a lot of us over here. Shout out to <laughs> Mr. Sunny James. Yeah, Kush, Kush, Kush Shalomar, yeah. aka Kush Oxford. Love it. Just Kush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so the film dropped yes and i feel like i don't know maybe i just wasn't paying attention i didn't know it was coming i do maybe like two or three days before i heard about it so i don't know she's good for the just dropping dropping shit well you know? they did do a lot of promo for it okay so i just because I, I, I kept thinking i even thought i was like prepared myself to watch it and i was wrong i was like ready to <laughs> the sunday beforehand i was like wait it's not the 31st yet or whatever day that was yep, a whole week beforehand i was you like was oh ready. i'm gonna watch it yep and i was wrong <laughs> yeah i was sorry. so wait let me ask you did you get disney plus for it or you already had disney plus i got my friend's login for it hey I ain't mad at you. <laughs> that's how I you gotta do you. it listen <laughs> Listen, I ain't mad at you at all. They uh, listen. They, they learn from Game of Thrones. They know we sharing logins. Dude. Look, I already, it. I already got. I got my friends Netflix. I got my mom's Hulu. I got my own Prime, and I got my other friends. It's three different friends who let me use their logins. Listen, we in a pandemic. Don't nobody got time to be paying for four subscriptions. <laughs> and, um, I was Listen. like, um, I was on Facebook like, hey, so who wants to let me use their Disney Plus? <laughs> Somebody hit my, my um, DM like, here you go. I was like, thank you. Boom. Yeah. Oh, that's good money. Yeah, so we definitely have a subscription here. Because all you really, all you got to do to get Am hooked is have something comic related on your platform. Oh, all of Marvel is going to be? Uh, oh, yeah. Give me that. Oh, uh, yeah. And you know yeah. what? When I first got the login, I went and watched National Geographic for like a half a day. Yo, yeah, some good stuff on there. <laughs> Definitely. And even like, so I got a DC uh, subscription to their streaming service. Um, already had HBO Go for Game of Thrones and stuff like that. But now they're about to drop. Um, a bunch of comic movies and and TV shows on there for HBO Max. Mm, oh, I'll be I'll hey, be doing that. Wait a minute, I got. I'm sorry, it's not three friends logins. I got four friends logins because my my cousin let me use her um her Spectrum login. So mm. on my on my um Fire Stick, I download all those apps because you mentioned HBO. Yeah, I download everything and I can just watch it through oh, her subscription. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's it's it's about when community. You're loved. Yes. yes, it's about community. <laughs> People be like, "Here, here you go." I'm like, "Oh my god, thank you." <laughs> all you For like do years, three right. years. Yes. Close mouth don't get fed. All you gotta do is ask. I've been using my one friend's Netflix login since before I moved to LA. It's been like seven years. That's hard. Yes, hey, man. That, that friend is amazing. That friend yes. pays their bill. That's yes, awesome. pretty much. <laughs> usually, usually people that are that are like keen to loaning out their logins don't keep their bills paid, so they don't care. They be like, "It's hey, you know. I know, and, and then, then you, you can't hit like, them up. Yeah, you're like, uh, okay. I guess I just got to shut up and wait. Right. I just, I just keep trying to log in. We'll see what happens. Did you change the passcode? <laughs> What's going on? So before we jump directly into the film, so my journey into the hive was an accidental one. Uh, I just kept seeing different things on social media throughout the years where it felt like Beyonce was being attacked and dissed for things that made absolutely no sense to me. And like, Time after time, I find myself defending her. And I was like, I'm not really a huge fan like that. From a DJ standpoint, 
Oh, yeah. I rocks with her. Like, period. She's given me gems to kill dance floors with for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't like, oh my God, Beyonce is everything. Until she started doing things that I felt like this needs to be defended because y'all are tripping. Super Bowl performance, she killed that. Like, there were so many different situations where the messaging was just being missed because people just want to hate the Carters. Pretty much. So then, you know what I'm saying? So then I forgot how you and I started talking about that. I don't know if I texted you. It was, it was, uh, something dropped. Was it? Was it her surprise album? It might have been because, a surprise album. Because was it I Lemonade? feel like it was around mm-hmm. Lemonade, wasn't it? No, I think it was the Beyonce album because I feel okay. like I was living in my first apartment and I remember texting you about it. Maybe <laughs> I mm-hmm. think I can't remember. I can't yeah. remember, but we were so hype about just whatever <laughs> it was. We was super hype. It might have been Lemonade. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, and I, I was like, was yo. Lemonade. I was like, yo, I, I think I'm in the hive, and you just text back some bees. He was like, you in there, B. Like, <laughs> you were, you were like, like, was like don't you fight in. it. Yeah, he was, like, he was like, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Yeah. And, was, and, yeah. at, and at that point, I was like, all right, she might could be right. I might be in this, John. Listen, then, I've, you know. <laughs> I've honestly, I've always been in a hive since, <sighs> since, since, like, Destiny Shop. Just Destiny Shop. Because you can't. Say. You can't you can't deny somebody's greatness. Like, come on, who does that? That's what and I'm saying. And you know, I think too, um, both of us being artists, we just look at mm-hmm. things a little bit differently. Yeah. I gotta respect her. Like she like, what you mean? Because you identify with the work ethic. You know what it takes that to get part. these things done. You know what that I'm saying? Part. Exactly. Like some people, when they see the finished product, like I was having this conversation with a homie earlier today, um, just talking about, you know, how it is to navigate different dynamics whether it's you know relationship or business relationships and people don't understand like you not having time for them and i was like when it comes to like you know romantic relationships it does help to be partnered with someone that is also a creative yes if they're creative that's a plus because they understand the process i said some people really feel like you got out the studio the song is three minutes so it must have taught it must have took you five minutes to record it yeah, it's and like, it's like uh, <laughs> why, why, why aren't you answering the phone? Oh, it's guys at the studio. What you doing in the studio? While them guys are you flirting with the floor? Right, right. It's just like, bro, come I on, can't. bye. You don't got time for that. You ain't got <laughs> yeah. no time for that. But yeah, definitely, I had the utmost respect for her work ethic. Um, oh, you know, it like really did it for me. What? When? Yep, I remember it like yesterday. Uh oh. I saw her at MIA. I saw. Oh. Her that was the that was the first time I saw her perform, and I you saw You know what's MIA. crazy? You, you talking about uh, Made in America, right? Yep. Yep. The funny thing is, I was there too, even though I lived out here. I had came home because mm. my mom was moving out to LA, and I came home to help her get rid of some of the stuff that I still had at her house. Okay. And then like help her get her stuff together. And I remember I flew in from um, LA, and I went straight to the festival festival because i was so tired mm. i remember being there and she was killing it but i was just like okay i, got, I need to go lay down yo the costume changes mm. the the entire set like it was bananas yeah. it was bananas you know what i'm saying like what are you talking about you gotta have respect for that and I then Beachella, felt... like come on man like oh my god listen i'm gonna tell you something about that the album i listen to it every day it's a spiritual. I've been listening to it moment. every 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 day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day since I saw, because you know, most of us like I didn't go up to um, Coachella. Uh, no, a lot of us don't. <laughs> yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us I, normal people just don't be at Coachella. So. Well, I just I wasn't I wasn't trying to. I think it was like I just didn't get tickets. Okay. And you know I'm here, so I could have went there to Coachella. True. True. But I was just like, yo, I'm not trying to be in the desert all week, like, bruh. No. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good. So, I'm good. So I watched. I watched it on because uh, they had it on YouTube Live, and I yep. remember watching it, and I was so hyped. Like it was, I can't even explain it. That yeah. was like the greatest thing I ever seen in my life. That's what I'm saying. And that's to me, that's like the greatest live album. I really think with yeah. all the transitions, all the yeah. music, I'd you agree. know what I'm saying? Even her um, integrating like other records, other people's records. Yeah. Like one of those um, records, it's like instrumental with the band playing. And she, they mm-hmm. put like, they played Hey in the Middle of the Barn. Remember that song? Yes. 
Yes. I think about that a lot. Future like, conflict. Yo, yes. Yes. Like, come yes. on. Who does that? Come on, man. Come you know on. What I'm saying? Yep. So I listen to that every day before quarantine. I would listen to it on my way to work, <laughs> on my way to the gym, on my way to dance class. Mm-hmm. I even listen to it now because we're stuck in the house when I like get right. on, my, on my spin bike because I don't really go anywhere. I ain't messing with the, uh, the Rona. Nah, you can't. You can't. You know, I'm, I'm glad you're taking this seriously because there's a lot of people that really aren't taking it seriously. Child, please. We had we had over five hundred thousand cases here in, in California. Jeez. We we pat, surpassed New York. So no. Mm, or yeah. no. Nah, people having nah. house parties. They having like Yo, mansion parties. Like what Listen, are you doing? The only thing I do is like if I need to go to Target or like the supermarket. Right. And but I'm not up. You out there yeah. masked up? I know you and, are. Yeah. and the crazy part is, people they fly in from all over the place. Like, see, I'm in town. I'm like, okay, what you yeah. calling me for? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's, that's what's up. Anyways, yeah, yeah. I'm not playing don't, like don't that, tell man. me, don't tell me you in town because they don't have nothing to do with me. You will get your <laughs> <out."> <laughs> You ain't checking me before you came out here because you would have known yeah. I'm not on the agenda. Told you, nah. Right, mm-hmm. right. I ain't playing with you, Tripping. and then I'll be around. I be around my mom, so like, what I look like? If I right. get my mom sick messing around with you, then we fighting. Yeah, ain't nobody doing that. Ain't nobody doing that, B. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that was my journey to, you know, getting into the hive. I, I'm so to... happy. I'm so happy that I la- allowed you in. <laughs> I, that I, I created I'm your membership. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Uh, it's 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 a it's a good place to be as a man. It's a very secure place to be. Know, understanding right. that this what we're seeing here what we're witnessing is top level greatness there is no Listen, one at her level period no, jay ever. even jay knows it jay yeah. knows it there's no he disputing be, here he'd he be smiling at her i'm like Yo, no, he, no. He, he already know what it is. <laughs> that's what i'm saying like <laughs> imagine like how how great is that you know what i'm saying this is someone who's revered as one of the most you know prolific mcs excellent businessman like seen him you know rags to riches story like we've seen this dude like he's top notch yeah and he just looks at her and just smiles like man like this wow is amazing like what like that's mine yeah. that's my way right he he looks at her like like he's a fan just like us exactly <sighs> oh my god child, child. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that you're in the highs i love it <laughs> so now now i'm gonna drop the bomb i'm gonna drop the bomb on you let's go let's go i just watched it you just watched it. Yeah, I, I got done watch like an hour ago. Oh, okay. Just watched it. So I it's didn't fresh have time. in your mind. It's super fresh. So and I already want to watch it again. I'm going to tell you that you should watch it again because mm. I watched it on uh, the 31st. Uh huh. How many times did you watch it since then? Um, I only watched it one more time yesterday. Okay. Because okay. I, I wanted it to kind of be fresh in my it because it was so many parts that it was just. It was hard to take it all in, if that makes sense. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it was so beautiful. I was just like, low-key, the first time I watched it, I was stuck like, what? And I, cried like, three, I cried like three I cried like three times. I'm not so that was going to be my first question, yes, actually. What were, what were your cry moments? I have one. What, okay. were, your, what were your three cry moments? Um, the, the first cry moment was... Um, just seeing all those black men, I remember. Oh, I think they had like pink suits on, and they were like, "Yeah, and they were promotion. bouncing." Yeah. Yes, that yeah. was one moment. And then the second moment was, um, shoot, how did I just think? I was about to say it. Okay, so one other moment mm-hmm. was when the the her the town was like going up in dust. And oh, she had to yeah. put, she had to put the baby, the baby in, in the, the river. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, and oh, my top moment that really made me cry was Brown Skin Girl. Listen, that was my yo, moment. I can, I can tell you the exact <laughs> oh time. God. It was the end of Brown Skin Girl when Blue was singing that last part, and it was just her on camera. Oh, that was it. Tears right there. <laughs> it, I mean, it, my eyes was watering through Brown Skin Girl because the song is just so amazing. But, but then, to see visuals with it. Ooh. When I saw blue at the end, it was like, okay, now they on my cheeks. They on the top. And you of know my what? Cheeks. For it's me, I got all choked up because I'm a dark skinned woman, right? And just seeing all of oh, those the, those different representations of, of dark skinned, brown skinned women, 
And I was like, yo, I like for me, I felt like, wow, this is something I didn't realize that I needed. Needed. How about I that? needed that? How about I needed that? I'm a grown woman and I needed to see that. Right. Out of all these years that I've been watching television and movies, and you know, I'm like heavy in the movies, of course, and everything. Oh, wait, wait, pause, pause, pause. We got a movie star on the pod. (laughs) Yes, movie star, music star. Hello, hello, (laughs) check the IMDb. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yes, join Serena. But that's the thing. That's another thing. It's like yeah. I'm aspiring to be, uh, to try to even get towards her level. You right. know what I'm saying? Of course, of it's course. hard. It's yeah. hard. She she does everything. Like come yes. on, yes, come on. She does everything at top level. Yeah, I agree with you. Representation is huge. You don't know how beautiful we look through that lens. You don't know how beautiful we look on television until you see us. On and that's and, so you and that's why on big screen. and that's why that's why everybody got a problem with us. Yeah, and on you top know. of that, like most importantly, like you don't understand how beautiful we look through the Hollywood lens until you have a person that is lighting us properly. Yes. Did so you move- see? Did you see the issue? Of, I think it was Vogue. I forgot the name of the photographer. Some uh, mm. a white photographer, but she took photos of Simone Biles, and she looks like. She didn't like her property properly. properly. Oh, she looks God. crazy. Mm. And people were pissed. You know how Twitter is. They right. light people up. Yeah. Black they Twitter like, gonna light come people up. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't like light her properly. You know, Simone is like brown skin. Yeah. And they had her looking kind of she looked ashy. Yeah. Come on, man. See, it was that's crazy. What, yeah. And you deserve that backlash. You deserve because yeah. there are too many photographers, whether they're a photographer of color or not, but there are too many photographers at this point. That know how to do the job right. Exactly. And I that's think, what they did too. They were like, instead of using this photographer, how about you use somebody who works at Essence who knows how to f- right. um, photograph black artists right. Cut properly. The check. Get the right person in, involved. Yeah. Um, when I started really, really um, enjoying, well, I've always enjoyed, you know, seeing us on screen in any form of media. But I guess when... I started to really take notice of how well and how much people are paying attention to how we're, we're lit. Um, Insecure, definitely. Oh. And, and Moonlight. Moonlight. Oh, my God. Listen. Moonlight was it. That When I saw Moonlight, we saw it in the theater. It was a, Somebody, When wait, I hold. saw that. Mm-hmm. Somebody tell Trevon, I say hi. <laughs> <laughs> tell the boy that John said hi. <laughs> tell the boy that John was like, what up? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I had to say that. <laughs> but no, like when I saw Moonlight, I was like, "Wait, why do we yes. look so? Good? Why do we look so good?" Right? I don't understand this. It's what like, are, golden, what are they doing? Golden <sighs> chocolate. Yeah, yeah, straight the up. The way that they, the way they lit Travante up, and how how um, rich his skin looked. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. And that's what we got in Black is King. Like, yes, and- everyone looked amazing. So basically. You know, Hollywood has been telling us, showing us for decades how difficult, how quote unquote difficult it is for them to light us properly. Because mm-hmm. you weren't if, you weren't putting in the effort. You really didn't care. No, because they or they just use this as a prop. I just exactly. read an article about, you know, Hollywood and how they use like the black best friends to add diversity to the cast, but you, they never fully form Develop that the, character. Right. Yes, yeah. exactly. Cool. Exactly. Keep that. Y'all can have that. Y'all but another that. thing, another thing that was just super beautiful about Black is King is mm-hmm. the costume. So like, you know, with our complexions, color, yep. listen, the colors, yep. I, I can't, I can't get over it. Yeah. Yeah. The costumes were amazing. And the costumes were amazing. I think I found myself like, verbally commenting at those points throughout the movie. I was like, ooh, this costume. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And I Your believe oh, I know um the costume design was by uh Beyonce Stylers. Zarina Zarina Akers. Okay. I know. So a funny story. 
being out here in LA, going to different, you know, events and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like I introduced myself. I actually said this on Facebook the other day. But I'm like, oh, you know, how you doing? My name is Serena. It's like, oh my God, are you like Beyonce stylist? Because <laughs> I didn't even know her stylist name was Serena as well until somebody said it to me. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not. But okay, thanks. Right. And then I right. looked into it. I'm like, okay, this is dope. We got the same name. That it's is dope. a little different, but yeah. Okay. She got two A's in there. What's happening? No, she is Z E R I N A, and mm-hmm. I'm Z A R I N A H. Dope. Yeah. So I, I, as I'm watching, I think maybe like 15 minutes into it, me and Morgan, and we were just I actually when it first started with all the you know the Disney opening, I was like, yo, like I know I'm watching this on Disney's Disney Plus, but this is a Disney presentation. Mm-hmm. Like flat out, she played Nala. She's a Disney princess. Like this, like, <laughs> like, like this is wild. So, from a it's, distribution standpoint, right? Peep this. Uh-huh. It says released July thirty first. Disney Plus is not available in Africa. So, a distribution deal was made with Central and West African television channel Canal Plus Afrique and South African media conglomerate Multi Choice Group's channel M Net to screen Black is King across Sub Saharan Africa. August 1st. For the film's premiere, the multi-choice group <clears throat> will open uh, Mnet for DSTV customers for about two hours on the rest of the packages. Um, as part of the deal, Black is King was aired in countries such as South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Ethiopia, Nambia, uh, Cameroon, Liberia, Burundi, uh, Senegal, Togo, Somalia, Benin, and Congo. Oh, wait. Kenya, Ivory Coast, <laughs> Zimbabwe, Malawi, um, Cape Verde. Like they struck the deal to make sure that Africa, Africa could, could see watch it. it. Uh, that, yo. Come on, man. Come <laughs> yo, on. I think come a lot of on. people sleep I think a lot of people sleeping in the fact too that she literally um made sure that she worked with artists yes. from Africa and uh directors, you know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Musicians. <clears throat> so let Listen. me so, so let me ask you this. Yes. Are you aware of some of the backlash that the film got? Yes. Did you see the no name situation? Yes. <sighs> I feel like I was like, "Are you bored, sis? You, <laughs> you yo. just, you just, you just, you just, you you just sliced J Cole's Achilles successfully. Like you, 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 you sat him down. You benched him because he was out of he was out of order. You benched him. We was all right. I'm like okay, okay, no name. Okay, okay." And then you did this? And the funny thing was, it was like she was speaking, it was like she was trying to stick up for her issues <laughs> in Africa, but people in Africa are like, yo, what are you doing? Like, Right, sis, they, they, they got you, her. Are you they gathered her right up. Yeah, like, what do you... Mm-hmm. I, I, I Honestly, as a person of African descent in any part of the world, right. you should not have any negative feeling or comment towards black is king i don't get it my thing like so i anticipated uh negative commentary because it's beyonce because yeah. anything anything there from that crew, anything from that camp carter's like black excellence is always criticized period um and i almost like put a either a facebook um post up or or a tweet just on some more listen. I need y'all to get this. I hadn't even seen it yet. But I was like, I need y'all to get this time to breathe for y'all before y'all start taking shots at it. Just let and it, that's, let it that's, breathe. That's the funny thing, too. Like, I Sheesh. keep people saying, like, oh, that's not my kind of thing. I'm like, you didn't even see it. Right. If you're black, it's your kind of thing. Right. Period. It's, it's repping for you really, really hard. <laughs> Super I don't hard. care if you don't like Beyonce. You need to watch it, even just visually. It's stunning. What are you talking about? But also, if it's not your kind of thing, why are you talking? About? Just shush. Well, shush, you know, shush, shush I just, your mouth. I feel like <laughs> some people thrive off of yeah. that kind of energy. Yeah. So yeah. I, I've learned to not even engage in it because I'm just like, okay. It does. It does. <laughs> it does no. Yeah. It does no purpose. It does no not, real purpose at all. Not, not at all. Yeah, yeah. So there were definitely moments in there uh, when, like, so so representation for me, definitely seeing all those black men um, mm. and like dark 
black men, men with dreads, men mm-hmm. with shape ups, but African features. These are mm-hmm. African men. These are, you know, these are brothers I've seen in, as a part of my family. I'm half Nigerian. These are brothers I've seen, you know, going back home the few times that I did. Like, it was just great to see, see, see that representation. And I'm not even going to lie. Like, like you said, grown person who knew I needed that. There was definitely a moment when I was just like, yo, you got to understand, like having a Nigerian first and last name, mm-hmm. that African booty scratcher, like that was elementary yo. school. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you're getting teased from elementary school. Like, so, and, and just having that experience so young, it made me, it actually had, it forced me to have pride. And it forced me to be a loner early on. So that's why as an adult, I don't move in clicks. I don't need to be associated with anybody. No matter where I go, I'm good because I'm yeah. used to having to rebrand and, and, and be on my own period. You know, we on, we on the same page. Exactly. I didn't even, exactly. Peep, I didn't even peep this. Listening, listening to you say that I didn't mm-hmm. peep this. Why I roll the way I did. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That, 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 that when it happens that early, when you get teased incessantly, like getting, and I know you experienced this, like, you know, the teacher's going down, calling the roll, and then you know when they're about to say a name because they got to oh take a pause. <laughs> yeah. They got to pause to figure out how to say, and they're like, uh, God. Uh, is Zarina? Zarina. I'm like, oh no, my God. Uh, it's like, will you even try? Can you give it an effort? <laughs> but they can say them other names, oh, like, uh, come on. Jasinski or something. They, they, they'll get it all right. They'll get it all right. <laughs> Everything yeah. with ours, which means you're not you're not even trying. But again, like like you know, like you said earlier, I didn't know how much I needed that. You know what I'm saying? It, it was really really good. Here it is. This is an American based artist. She is at the pinnacle of her career. She is like an inarguably the top artist, and mm-hmm. you, she's making a very very concerted effort to represent Africans. Like, what? And the funny thing is, people who are in the Beehive, they peep when the change happened with her because Mm. when she was being managed by her father and Mm. everything was like super corporate, super poppy. Right. She had that pop sound, pop videos. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which worked because she still was popping. She was killing it. I still loved her back then. But you Come saw when, when she fired him and started managing herself, how everything changed. I think it started at the Beyonce album, the yeah. self-titled yeah. album. Yeah. And literally every project that she has after that becomes blacker and blacker. Right. It's sure enough does. <laughs> it's sure enough does. Because she knew what she needed for herself. Yeah. She And yeah. she was positioned, you know, got to thank her, her pop for that. Like the early part of her career positioned her to be able to call her own shots. Like she can do and, whatever she wants. And I think it's funny, wants. too. I think a lot of people feel some kind of way when you go back to colorism. And it's like, how dare this light-skinned girl tell me, you know what I'm saying, or represent being black? And it's just like, what? Because I remember yeah. she always was talk about how how her mom was always centered in blackness and always would talk to her sisters about it. Mm. So just because... She's like this light skinned pop diva, you know what I'm saying? Right. She got blind hair. It don't mean that she's not a black woman. Right. And I, I do think remember that's that. where it's a disconnect for some people. Like they feel some kind of wet. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's really weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I saw a heavy yeah. pushback during uh, Lemonade. It was a yeah. huge pushback. It was like who she thinks she is now. And it's like, y'all got to chill. Y'all got to identify the self hatred that you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Like really spend some time with yourself and think about, like, Think about why this bothers you. If she was somebody that was singing in your church, you wouldn't have a problem with her. Well, if I she was one of your of... cousins, you probably wouldn't have a problem. But why does it bother you that she's using her platform well, to celebrate I, blackness? I think a lot of people, honestly, um, a lot of people don't want to step outside of the box. A lot of people aren't willing to go after their dreams. So when they see her, they see what um, what they didn't do with themselves. Right. It doesn't have to be music. It doesn't have to be acting. Somebody might have wanted to open a business, but they were too scared. And it's like, oh, shoot, 10 years ago, I was doing this. And 10 years later, I'm still doing the same thing. But look at what Beyonce has done within these past 10 years. 
You see what I'm saying? No, that definitely people, plays a factor. Yeah. People are weird like that. Wait, what did my mom say? Video it, message. People are weird like that, but we've also experienced that just at our level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people in our personal life that, you know, Philly, West Coast, doesn't matter. You know, when they see progression, it's odd to them. It's like, who do you think you are? No, I haven't changed. It's who who do you think I am? Because I'm the same person and that just kept working. The funny thing is, for me, you've known me a long time. Mm-hmm. You've seen me work hard. Mm-hmm. I've seen you work hard. Yeah, yeah. And for me, you know how you said that you roll by yourself, you don't have a click? Right. I have, like, two best friends, like, in, in the music business. Right. And then I have, like, people outside of that. But I don't roll with a lot of people. A lot of people don't know what's going on with me. Right. Because, you know, I don't like that energy. I don't yeah. need that negative energy. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? I was dating one guy in the whole relationship, and he wasn't supportive. I had to like end it. Like, yo, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Who wasn't supportive? Like, from what standpoint? Like, what was he of, not- me, of just me? You know what I'm saying? Wow. He just wanted me to be in the house, wash it, wash his clothes. Oh, make some got you. Yeah, no, it just okay. was like, no, this isn't perfect for me. It's not ideal. Yeah. So you know how you you said um, it's better to me. Yeah. To date someone who's like um, who understands, who's in the industry. Who's a creative. Who's, who's a creative. Yeah. And he doesn't even need to be a musician, you know what I'm saying? Or an actor. Even if he just understands that need to be creative and that yep. need to be independent. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Then it'll work. Yeah, because then you're dealing with someone that not only can help you feed your creativity, but will observe you and understand when you need that alone time and when you need time exactly. to, to, to replenish and, and, and work on feeding your creativity. And or be push supportive you. of that. Yep. Yes. Or give yep. you suggestions or whatever. Yep. You know yeah, what I'm man. saying? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, it's just, look, that movie, that movie, I, I need to watch it a few more times. Yeah. It was like yeah. each segment was so beautiful and it, it has so many different messages. It was like yeah. different levels. A lot of people don't realize there's a lot of African spirituality in there. Yeah. And I think for a lot of African Americans that's foreign because a lot of us are Christians. Yep. And just so, that's basically your spirituality. Did you see uh Killer Mike's response to people? Yes. Saying, oh, he killed it. He killed it. Yes, that was perfect. Because yeah. he was talking about people are like, oh she's She's double worshiping with the horns. I'm like, what? People don't even realize because we're so far detached or far exactly. removed from Africa that a lot of African tribes yep. join those garbs. Like, what are you right. talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Chill out. Yeah. Chill out. Yeah. Open some books. Click on some links on the internet. Do the knowledge, please. Please. It, it, it was so deep. I think a lot of people aren't ready for it. That's well, how deep glad, it is to me. Yeah, and I'm glad it exists as it does because this thing will live forever and people have the opportunity to go back and revisit it and learn and learn and learn. Because like you said, there's so many different messages, not yeah. just in the songs, the imagery, the costume. The there's so much to learn. Yeah. The costumes, the dance moves, yeah. the hair. There's so many different things that you're going to be learning as like you're Afri- studying this piece. It's like African spirituality, black Bruh. excellence, black yeah. wealth, yeah. Um, self-love. Yeah. It's just a lot. Even creativity. Yeah. <clears throat> the um fusion of like African American artists with African artists. Yeah. It look. Let me let me ask you this. I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna take it all the way home. Yes. How did it feel to see two one five? represented up in there with Tierra Whack. I was hyped. I was hyped. Because, because even Ooh. even even when the soundtrack dropped. Right. I was like, right. oh. But then even just seeing her and just oh. even um her segment, I believe the way that they had her segment set up was yeah. like um it was done purposely. Yeah, of I think it's some 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 art like a black artist. Yeah, it, it's supposed they, to be like yeah. a photograph. Yeah, that yeah. set up the intro to Tierra. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. So I saw someone do the comparison. Yeah, on Facebook. I don't remember the artist's name, but like, absolutely. When the soundtrack dropped and I saw Tierra on it, there's just a sense of pride, especially with the women from Philadelphia. There's a mm-hmm. sense of pride that I that I just like. Oh man, I I, I came across her. 
I want to say like four or five years ago. Um, when she it was right before she dropped Whack World. Okay. And I was like, yo, she is dumb nice. So yeah. I, actually, it was it was four years ago because when I first moved out here. Okay. And I, and I shared, I shot a link to Aphrodisiac, uh, oh, shot Afro. a link to MJ. You know what I'm saying? West Coast West, West Coast residents now. So I shot <laughs> one to Aff, and Aff was like, oh, yeah. Uh, she used to go by Dizzle. We had her on the radio a couple of times. And I was like, yo, she is a beast. Yes. She is a beast. I saw this and video it's like. Her. It's super effortless. That's what I love about it. That's I feel like she's. What, yes. I feel like she's not even trying. She's be she's rapping. She's not. She's it's not. Just, yo. It's just really. It's really dope to see. Yeah, she's not trying, and you can tell because she's been rapping this good since she was like fourteen. Yeah. Seeing some of the old two off for the streets videos, like you've been rapping like this for a minute. So nah, this is easy for you. This is like whatever you do next is going to be bananas. But here it is. You're in black as king. Yeah. Like, come on, man. That's I think it's beautiful. I think I, it's 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 funny being an artist from Philly. Mm-hmm. A lot of cities um, have like a crab in a barrel mentality. Yeah, true. But I feel like when you're somebody who's um, comfortable in yourself as an artist, yeah. you are genuinely happy. You're happy, yes. For other. So for me, for anybody from Philly, and they come up, I'll be yeah. like, Philly all day. All day. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. And I don't care what, what part of the world you're in. Yep. People from Philly are so proud to be from Philly. <laughs> I love it. Seriously. It's, it's like Brooklyn. Brooklyn, they do the same thing. Brooklyn, yeah, you're you right. know, you're right. Brooklyn you're right. go hard for other but, Brooklynites. But when man. I but meet... You know, yeah, when I meet right, people though. from Philly, or I'm sorry, when I meet people and they know I'm from Philly, they be yeah. all hype about it. Like, oh, yep. you're from Philly? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I feel the same way. Like, just coming across, yo, there's a, uh, like, there's a little sneak little contingent of Philadelphians out here in Portland, dog. Like, they just, Is every it? time I, th- what? Yo, they are out here. Oh, Philly, I'm, su- yeah. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Um, Me too. Me too. I'm thinking it was a couple of us. I'm like, yo, you from Philly? You from Philly? You just came out here from Philly? What is, wait, what? How long have you been out here? It's funny though, because I'm not, I mean, I guess LA is different because everybody wants to be in LA, true, right? True, true, true. But it, it's just funny because a lot of times, like in my acting class, people come to class and they're from Philly too. And I'm like, oh, okay, right. we in here. We in the building. Right, we in here. That, exactly. That, that's, that's the vibe you just perfectly describe. Oh, we in here. We in and here. a funny, another thing is too, being from Philly, being mm-hmm. a, a rapper or MC. Philly got the best MCs. I said I say this openly. People try to debate me, but if it's, you put, I can't even explain it. I think it's because Philly got the, some of the best musicians in the world, right? Oh, absolutely. They're in everybody's so, band. They're in everyone's band. Yes, yeah. I think that coming from our city, our city is so tough. Yeah, and so opinionated and that so you gotta be. Yeah, yeah. so competitive that you yeah. gotta be one of the best. It's like, it's like um, practice before yeah. you leave the city. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Because I don't know why. I don't know if it's Arcadians. I don't know what it is. But people who rhyme from Philly are probably the dopest MCs compared to everybody else. No shade to nobody else. No shade. You know what I'm saying? No shade. But I mean, I it, it's, it's really simple. It's no. It's it's really simple. Anybody who's who's doing Black Thought dirty. No, there's there isn't listen he's not my, uh, my like you know what i'm saying like on uh, some real listen pre I, I, there's a couple of a couple of different designations i have so pre me finding about finding out about his domestic violence tendencies fabulous was my favorite mc right you know what's crazy you know what's crazy give it to me I, I, i've always liked fab fab is amazing Right, even mm-hmm. with the, the Freddie versus Jason John with um he, he, him he, and Jada yeah. Kiss, but yeah. after and I'm gonna say this on this podcast on the radio, do it af- after seeing him in, in his situation, yeah, man, him knocking his woman's teeth out, yeah, man, bro, like, I can't, I, I, I literally I can't. As a DJ, I, can't. I don't play his tracks. I don't play his tracks. I can't. Anymore. I can't. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, someone and, told me. Someone did tell me. Um. On his most recent release that he does address that and he you know he comes out and just talks about it and i'm like maybe i'll give it a listen to see but i mean I've, i feel like there are some 
situations where there's room for redemption if you're getting help and all of that but i just haven't seen anything actively take and place maybe, where i'm like i can bring him back in the fold but i don't play and, i don't play fab strikes i don't play fab and maybe strikes. that's what it is because yeah. i feel like when you're on a public platform yeah if you do something that comes out in the public you need to address it publicly it, yes, if he's saying like oh my god i messed up like i had a messed right. up childhood right my mom did it my mom right. was abused that's why I, uh yeah react this way but i'm getting help now right you gotta be just you got you're right that, you gotta be equally as loud yeah because yo yeah. i can't the fact that he knocked yeah. her teeth out i could yeah. not get over that so yeah seeing that video was 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 really you know that was really that shook me up you know mm-hmm. so prior to all of that he was my favorite mc now when it came to like my top three mcs it was always j- always jay because jay in my opinion has accomplished the most he's like the epitome of what an mc can get done mm-hmm. in this industry but take those two des- designations away right Black Thought. When it comes to who is the best at Black rapping, listen, nobody can see Thought. Ever. His, his ever. birth control is dumb. Come on, man. Come on. What are we talking about? I remember they, watching they play these d- games. D- different, different, um, like 4th of July. You know how they do the 4th of July mm-hmm. on, on Channel mm-hmm. 6 or something, whatever channel that is. Yeah. Right? Because I ain't been in Philly in a while, so I kind of forgot a lot of <laughs> stuff. Though, that Wild Wild Festival they used to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's but just I about. remember, I remember watching him rap and being like, "Bro, like, did he breathe? When is when what? is he breathing? He just <laughs> he, he exhales raps. Yeah, he just Yo. like they just you know, yeah. It's yeah. unreal. It's Nobody unreal. Right and I've, I've 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 always felt the same way. Like Black Thought yeah. is in my top. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's so, so, one of the, my top MCs because it's ridiculous. His breath control, his bars. Yeah. The yeah. delivery, you know what I'm saying? So bringing it back, isn't that what we're seeing with Tierra? She's just, oh, it's so effortless. Yes. It's so yes. effortless. Yes. You know what I'm saying? She and seems, that goes back to your point. She seems super relaxed. Yeah. Right. That goes back to your point about Philly MCs. And like, you understand you're sharing a city with Black Thought. You can't be out yeah. here. Like, the possibility of you being in a cypher with him in the 90s was very high. Because he wasn't walking away and shying away from cyphers at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could have went down. So you couldn't just be out here slipping all nope. crazy. You know what I'm saying? Nope. And yeah, man, like, there's just a sense And I of feel pride. like it's it. And I feel like it's an innate thing, too. When you yeah. end up being an MC from Philly, yeah. it's just a natural competitive thing, a yeah. natural innate way of rhyming. Like, yeah. you already know you got to come or they're going to clap you. Come on, man. They're going to clap you down. <laughs> Look at me. Yo, remember, remember me when play um, no games, B. Yeah, remember when Destiny's Child performed? Uh, yeah, yeah, they the them. Yeah. Yes, Philly. Yeah, like that's what was, Philly does. Yes. So it's like you already got to prepare yourself not to be booed by the city. Right. Nobody wants to be booed right. by their own city. No, you know what I'm saying? Wants to be booed. <laughs> nah, I feel you. Oh my oh. god. Yeah, man. So I mean, the, the, this 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 film touched touched me and obviously it touched you in, in, in several different ways. Oh my God. If you had to because I want to get ready to close it out. So if you had okay. to sell someone that hadn't seen it yet what would, okay, better get, yeah, what would be your spoiler free review for this joint? Hmm. Um, so when I tell people to watch it, I okay. just tell them that it's beautiful. And it's a must see, mm-hmm. especially if you're of African descent. Right. That's literally what I say. You need to see it and judge it for yourself because I don't know. It's it's something you can't explain. I, I can't even yeah. really explain it. Right. I can't explain it. It's just a beautiful watch. Right. It's Absolutely. it's so it's so satisfying to the soul. Like I I can't. Look, that's look, a, I can't even I can't even talk about I'm like, I can't. <laughs> that's a good description. Satisfying to the soul. I think it, if it's I had really to... satisfying. It really satisfied yeah. my soul. Like, and the funny thing is, um, the day it dropped, I watched it. I um, worked from home. I was watching it. I had my uh, laptop on my lap and I'm just watching this film. I didn't even work. I was staring at that <laughs> TV the whole time. I could not take my eyes away from the screen oh my it was God. so beautiful 
the music was so beautiful. The theme was beautiful. I love how they tied in the actual Lion King and the sound bites from the right. actual right. film. And you, and you felt this it. you felt the progression through the film, how they mimicked the, the yeah, how they played the exactly. story out. It was, it was good. Exactly. And if you know the the, um, the Lion King story, then you would kind of be able to keep keep Absolutely. along. With this film, but the brother they, they had played Scar. Oh, he was vicious. Yes, Ooh. and they did it. They did it so artistically. Yeah. yeah, they did it so artistically. It was just beautiful to see that little boy yeah. turn into oh, a, a man, man. That little prince turn into a, a king. Like, come on, what you mean? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. That that would that would be my selling point. But come on, what you mean? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a, that's a no spoiler review. What you mean, though? Yo, it's so it, it's so beautiful. Even yeah. as a black woman, yeah. even that one segment, yeah. I literally sat here and cried. I was like, yeah, I feel seen. Yeah, I felt so seen. Oh, wow. Yeah. So okay, so I would sell it by saying, right? I, I agree with you as a person of color. This is a must watch. It's a must watch. Mm -hmm. You're going to see some things. You're going to feel some things you've never felt before. Guaranteed. As a non-person of color, you need to watch this for a couple of reasons. It'll help you understand what your black and brown friends are experiencing. Mm -hmm. It'll help you understand the world that they wish to exist in. And most importantly, it'll prepare you for what's about to happen. It'll prepare yes. you for what's about to come because our embracing of black excellence, our embracing of our culture and our heritage, it's happening at a lightning quick. Pace yeah, yes, right it now. is. I was about to say that. It's I don't hap- know if like, people been, been I don't paying know. attention. I don't know if I'm here for it. In. You know I'm what I'm saying? When I'm you got Afrobeat killing the pop charts, I don't know if you're paying attention, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's happening. So more you know more of this more of this for more artists um quick shout out before we close quick shout out to mellow x um oh my god i love mellow yeah and the funny thing is that's funny you mentioned his name so i'm sitting here watching it mm-hmm. and it said he was one of the musical directors I oh was definitely like, Bitch, definitely what? yeah yes! yeah yeah because you know yes! he's on, you know he's on lemonade too yes so yes. here's the here's the funny part about that why is shout my dog out. looking at me all crazy <laughs> <laughs> Like, shout out you... shout out to Lil Giant Media. Shout out to the Yee. You know what I'm saying? The brother Yee. Hey, um, hooked me up with a uh video uh video assignment back when I was in Philly doing videography to capture content for the electric punani parties. Shout out to Sonny James because him and Lean opened them joints. Hey Sonny James, my best yeah. friend ever. You know what I'm hey Sonny, Lean, Sonny hey Snippy. A, Sonny is a golden he's a golden person like so i'm gonna i'm gonna say this real quick because i gotta shout go out ahead. my best friend mr sunny james one of Do the it. best fucking fucking djs in the whole fucking world period period period, period. period. don't play period. Yeah, don't play don't play y'all. period poo. don't don't let it happen to you no it's the real oh, it's the real don't let it happen to you. Don't don't sleep on Sunny. Don't feel like you want to. No. Don't feel like you want to build with Sunny, and it's going to be sweet. Don't I've let it happen ta- to you. I've been telling him he's one of the best DJs <laughs> in the world forever. So his, I gotta just say this real quick. His transitions, his transitions. Sometimes I'm like, my nigga, what, what? Do you know, like you've How been, you, co- you've no. been to enough, you've been to enough events and parties with this dude, yeah. where like. You're on either on stage with him, like yep. you're in a spot where you're just chilling, observing, and he's having so much fun that you can't be cool. Yes. Like you didn't, you didn't get dressed to come out and be sweating. How everybody's dancing, everybody's right. dancing. Right, like you want you were like I'm, I'm filming. I got the camera and I'm dancing. Like just, you gotta chill out. <laughs> you gotta chill out. <laughs> there was a um <laughs> the the shoot the last gig I did with him was a new year's eve party this was back in philly right uh-huh. before we right before you know we moved it was okay. me him and aphrodisiac we okay. spent a new year's eve party together was That's... it at uh walnut room oh no, no 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 it was at this um it was at a social club downtown like a spot none of us had ever spun at oh it was a okay. private event and it was yo it was wild 
it was dumb nice. I think Doogie handed us the gig. He passed it off to us. He okay. had it the year before, but it was amazing. It was it was it was amazing. So yeah, so I was shooting um videography for the Electric Panani event. And um the matter of fact, Hood Celebrity was also on that um bill too. So um this again, this is while Lemonade was being produced and recorded. So okay. I did an interview with Hood Celebrity and I did an interview with uh with Mello uh in Philly at the TLA. Um so we're outside across the street at Ishka Bibbles and we're, you know, doing an interview. We just, you know, we just chopping up, talking about the projects he's working on and does not mention Lemonade because of course he couldn't mention he Lemonade. He couldn't. <laughs> and, and so I, this, is, this is my first interaction with him. I knew about him before, but this is my first interaction with him. Really, really chill dude. So here it is, Lemonade drops and I'm like, wait. And I look at the, I look at the time period. I'm like, this dude. He couldn't say nothing. Hey, shit. This dude was in my face working with Beyonce at <laughs> the exact time period and couldn't say shit. I love it, though. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm love surprised. It. Yes. I, yeah. And the funny thing is, um, I knew Melo from, uh, I think it's before I even moved out here. Mm. I remember just him doing records with Jesse Boykins. Yep. And. Yep. Then, like, you know, getting into his own records. I remember he did this, like, kind of a remix or with a sample of Paul McCartney. And, oh, wow. Uh, it's, it's a song called Gone Baby. And okay. I, I used to listen to it on repeat. And when I had my radio show in Philly, I used to play it a lot. Mm, okay. And then fast forward to now, because that was, like, 2010, 2011. Yeah. Look look what he's doing now. That's what exactly. I'm saying. Like that's beautiful. Just in general, man. Yeah, it's just it's a beautiful thing to see. And even to other people who are artists, never give up. I don't care how long it takes. Straight Do up. Not never give up. Give Straight your up, all yeah. and never give up. Because look, ten years later. Ten years later. This is the second Beyonce project we've been on. Right. That's like the highest Come uh, on. Come on. Achievement. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Hove said it. The price just went up. Mello, your price the price went up, B. Like, yeah. What are we talking about? It's insane. Yeah, it it's is. Insane. It's beautiful though. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Yeah. Z, I want to thank you for spending some time with me. And the hive. Yeah, I'm saying, hey, it's the hive, man. <laughs> <It's the> hive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta do it out a little bit. It's the hive, fam. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let it happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, let, let them stingers get all crazy on the on the internet. I want the bees <laughs> pop up in all your comments. They, they'll come for you. Yo, they'll come for they you. Been, already know. They've been, they been coming for Kid Rock for like <laughs> five years. Yo, I can't get over that. That's what he get, yo. Keep keep Beyonce Straight up. Much your mouth. Straight up. So notice, this will not be the last time you hear uh, Z on the podcast has no name because this is my horror movie partner right here. Yes. We're going to be doing some horror movie reviews. Oh, my gosh. You know, we're we're going to have her in a couple of episodes. We fun, both are fun. addicts. For horror fun, movies. Fun Zarina fact. Yeah. I watch a horror movie every day. Really? Yes. <sighs> I purposely, even if it's something I already watched, I watch a horror movie every day. All right, we gotta like, cut it here because I'm because I know what I'm gonna because you okay okay it's a okay. it's a it's a man <laughs> you started the rabbit hole. All right, yeah, all right. You know what? We're gonna thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. Oh my god, you wait, wait. There. Thank you. You got some shout out. Thank you for having me. Oh, if you, you're welcome. If you want to follow me, come follow me on Instagram oh. at Z A A R I N A H. Check out my IMDP. Mm-hmm. I have an album on iTunes. I put out mm-hmm. a few years ago. Stay tuned for some new music. Peep game. I'm glad you said it because I almost forgot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You're still here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of A Podcast Has No Name. If this is your first time checking us out, please subscribe. We are available on Google Play, Apple Music, Spotify, and pretty much everywhere else you listen to podcasts. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Podcast Has No Name. Lucius. Subscribe, please, please, please. Click and comment.